Hey, what's going on fellow currency collectors? In this video, let's talk about the top 10 most valuable presidential dollars. So like many other US coins, presidential coins that were made here in the US were absolutely pumped out in large numbers. Even though the mintages were high for these coins, some of these presidential coins are worth way more than their face value and are a great collectible. So let's start this list off with the FDI version or first day of issue version of this coin the 2007D George Washington dollar. So the majority of first day issue presidential dollars didn't really hold significant monetary worth. In 2007, over 163 million of these George Washington coins were minted out of Denver. And then an additional 176 million of them were made out of Philadelphia in the same year, which is one of the highest production volumes to that day of really any coin but of this series also. The mint mark on these coins is found towards the edge, D representing Denver, of course, and P representing Philadelphia. Condition's gonna play a huge role into presidential dollar values, and ones that are closer to mint state are the ones that are most sought after. Now keep in mind that even close to mint state 2007 Denver, Washington dollars are still worth only two to four dollars, but that's still two to four times the base value of the coin. Now, ones that are graded exceptionally high, we're talking MS-65 or higher, can sell for quite a bit of money. Currently, one is graded by PCGS and sold for well over $500. The second one on our list is also a 2007 George Washington dollar, but this is missing the edge lettering. This was an error made during production of these coins where a portion of the Washington dollars lacked any lettering on the edges, rendering it impossible to determine whether they were struck at Denver or Philadelphia. This was quickly identified by numismatic collectors and people flocked to these coins. Even the motto, In God We Trust, was also meant to be on the coin's edge, and so some people referred to this as the godless dollar. Early discoveries of these coins were all the way back in 2008, and in 2010, Auction records for these missing edge lettering Washington dollars hit a high when an MS-67 version of this coin sold for over $1,000. Unfortunately, as there's a wax and wane to values of collectibles, today PCGS only assesses this coin to be worth around 300 bucks. The most exceptional known specimen is one of three coins, which were all graded MS-68, and all are valued at over $4,000 a piece. The third one on this list is the 2007 Thomas Jefferson Missing Edge Lettering Coin in high MS grade. Among the presidential dollars minted in 2007, there were also ones honoring President Thomas Jefferson that lacked edge lettering as well. So consequently, these coins lacked a mint mark and the motto that was meant to be on the coin. In 2009, just a couple of years after their release, auctions were already established for these error coins, with some selling at an impressive $1,700 or more. There is ones that sit in the MS-66 to 67 grades, which are still worth three to $400, and the highest graded one sold for over $6,000 at MS-68. At number four, the 2007 James Madison missing edge lettering coin. So similar to the two ones that we previously mentioned, these James Madison coins are worth just a little bit more since less of them have been found. This error garners a pretty good value on these coins. Ones that are graded even at MS-59 or MS-60 are valued over $70. PCGS has certified 33 of them at MS-66, where most of them have fetched over $400 at auction. The highest graded specimen of these coins sold for over $4,000 and is an MS-67. At number five, the 2008 John Quincy Adams dollar with missing edge lettering. Not all of these John Quincy Adams coins out of 2008 were missing edge lettering, but there were a fair amount of them that were. Prices for these coins have generally declined over time, as they're a little less sought after than, say, George Washington versions of the coin. These are also referred to a plain edge Adams dollar, and an MS-66 version sold online for $1,100 a few years back. 
but PCGS only values these coins at around three dollars to $400 now. There are a few high-quality specimens identified thus far and are graded MS-68, however, PCGS has only certified 17 of them, and they do show them as best in class, however, their value is only four to six hundred dollars. At number six, the 2008 D Andrew Jackson Position A. Andrew Jackson's coin was the seventh U.S. presidential coin to be released, and it was minted in 2008. There was 122 million of them made, and about half of these were struck in Denver bearing the D mint mark on the edge. The inclusion of the coin edge lettering led to the existence of two distinct variants for most presidential dollars. In the position A variant, the coin's edge lettering is upside down when the president's portrait is facing up. In the position B, the opposite orientation is observed. Coins in circulated condition, including about circulated examples, hold a value equivalent pretty much to $1. But mint state versions of this coin can be worth just a few dollars more. Among the position A coins, the best of the best as of right now is a coin graded at MS67 and it's valued at over $400. At number seven, the 2008 Andrew Jackson with a satin finish in missing edge lettering. So this coin's got a lot going on. Even the highest quality standard Jackson dollars don't get anywhere near the value of this type of coin. There's only two known versions of this coin that lack the edge lettering, but are also classified as special strikes, which were produced in limited quantities for collectors and featuring a special satin finish. Over 100 of these coins have been certified at SP67, with PCGS using the SP prefix for special strike coins. There are two examples that are considered almost nearly flawless condition, which were graded SP69, and these both sold for well over $1,000. At number eight, the 2009 P. John Tyler Position A. In 2009, this marked the third year of the presidential dollar minting, and some collectors were pretty much losing interest at this point, leading to a decline in the mintage numbers overall, and only 87 million of the coins for U.S. President John Tyler were made that year. Similar to other presidential dollars, the positioning of the coin edge lettering distinguishes whether it's a variant of position A or position B, and one of the nicest examples of a John Tyler presidential dollar was in position A. This coin was produced in Philadelphia, and it was auctioned only a year after it was released. It received a PCGS grade of MS67, and is one of the highest graded examples of these coins, selling for over $1,200. Sadly, though, since that coin sold about 12 years ago, maybe more, these coins are only valued at about three or $400, with an MS-68 holding the highest value currently at only around eight or $900. At number nine, the 2009 W.H. Harrison Missing Edge Lettering Presidential Dollar. William Henry Harrison, the ninth president of the U.S., had his dollar issued in 2009, and similar to other presidential dollars, a portion of them was lacking the edge lettering. So this was a theme that went pretty much throughout most of the beginning of the series and really created some value and stir within the numismatic world. Places like PCGS have authenticated a few Harrison dollars missing edge lettering, and most of them start at MS-63 or higher. These are actually pretty cheap to acquire, so it'd be a good time to pick one up as they're only valued in about the $30 to $40 range. When you get up to MS67 plus grades, the value increases exponentially, putting them around two or $300, maybe more, and MS68s usually are at about $1,000 or more. In 2022, an MS69 version of this coin sold on eBay through a certified seller for around $1,250. Last but not least on our list is the 2010 Millard Fillmore Missing Edge Lettering. Millard Fillmore was the 13th president and had dollar coins commemorating his presidency struck in 2010. Since mintage numbers were continuing to decline, as I had mentioned, only 74.5 million of these were produced versus the over 300 million that were made for Washington's dollar. 
Three years after the first presidential dollars were introduced, this missing edge lettering still persisted as an error amongst them and kept a premium going for higher quality grades of these coins. Value for mint state examples began around 15 or 20 bucks, but when you got above MS65, it almost doubled. The record setting price for one of these was $650, which was established in 2016 for an MS65, but one that came in with just half a grade higher really altered the amount of value to these coins. One graded at MS68 plus increases the value to almost $1,000, and then there is one of the finest known examples, which is a singularly graded MS69 by PCGS, which appraises for over $5,000. So in summation, presidential dollars are not worth a ton of money comparatively to other really collectible coins, but you can have ones that are worth a ton of money over face value. Typically, circulated presidential dollars do not carry a value higher than their face value, but if you possess one in really, really, really good condition, it is worth significantly higher than its counterparts. Also, if you keep an eye out for missing edge lettering coins, as you can tell from this list, some of the most valuable presidential dollars are going to have that error. Let me know what you think about presidential dollars, if you have a favorite amongst them, or if you just never really got into them. Of course, let me know what you've come across in your coin and banknote searches as well in the comments. I love reading about that, so I will talk to you guys there, and I'll see you in the next video.